All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. This is HD StarCraft, and I'm proud to bring you guys Game 6 of this extended series, or if you want to call it Game 3, depending on how you look at it. It is from IPL's Hot Import Nights Fight Club event, and so far the games have been really good, especially the last one. We finally had a long, long macro game between these two players, and, you know, all my... All my craziest fantasies and wishes have now been satisfied watching these two juggernauts fighting it out in a macro game. But anyways, this is the Red Protoss player, Liquid's Hero. All he has to do is win one more game, and the $5,000 prize is his. But he's going up against the blue Zerg here in the top left-hand corner. And this Zerg player has finally won one game in that last game on Cloud Kingdom. And he's actually going for a six pull. It is MVP's Dongregu, and he is he's going for a six pull. Holy crap! All right, well, uh, this is totally not expected because most of the time Dongregu does not open up any type of cheese or aggression. He's a much more standard, you know, I'm gonna go three hatchery type of Zerg player. And the fact that he's going for a six pull here, I think it's because it's. Tauterim Altar, and <laughs> Tauterim Altar is not the best map, unfortunately, for Zerg if they want to play a macro game. That third is completely blocked off by a set of rocks, and uh, any obstructions there really hamper a Zerg who wants to go for the macro game. So he is going for a six pull here, and he's got eight Zerglings on the way. Oh man, this is going to be a nasty attack, but it looks like Hero went Forge first. And you know what, that forge is coming up on the production tab, and unfortunately this six pool would completely crush a Protoss if he decided to go for Nexus first. Unfortunately, it's forge first. And because of that, it seems like Dongregu might have a little bit of issues here, I think attacking to the front door, depending on how the cannon comes up. The cannon is now coming up inside the mineral field. And that's really smart too, because in the mineral field, you can protect the cannon by just hold positioning, microing the probes next to the photon cannon. And if he does that, I don't know how these Zerglings are going to be able to do much damage. And honestly, oh, one Zergling getting caught as well. Not a good start for DRG here. He's got to be careful not to lose these Zerglings, man. He sacrificed so much economy, he's going to lose another one. Great micro by Hero. He... He walked the probes through the path to the natural just to stack them up on that Zergling and then release them to trap one of the Zerglings. I don't know why there's two probes out here either. Maybe Hero thinking about Photon containing his opponent. But for now, it looks like Hero is going to lose the pylon and the forge at the front door. However, you know what? This is a worthy trade. In fact, this is definitely better for Hero. And you sacrifice the pylon of the forge, which is 250 minerals, but you have so much more probes in your opponent, assuming you don't lose that many to the six pool. So great reaction by Hero. He does exactly what he needs to do. And now Dongregu is definitely behind in this game. Uh, if it weren't for those rocks, then DRG probably would have played a more standard opening. Uh, so this is, this is totally off the walls right now. And... I think DRG has not set himself up very well for the, the mid game because he's going to have a lot less workers. And now, you know what, Hero is just going to play off of one base. He can just get up all of his gateways. He can get up to Cybercore and get his warp gate research going. I think Dongregu has really put himself in a hole and it's, it's a bit unfortunate because you're kind of rolling the dice, you're gambling. If Hero goes Nexus first, it's like an auto win. But if he doesn't, then it comes out of the micro, and unfortunately, I think Don Riku missed micro a little bit. And you can see now 15 workers under 23. So Hero has started off with a significant lead in this uh, sixth game. And you know what, guys? If he wins this one, all he has to do is win one. Recall in the last cast I was mentioning, all you've got to do is win one of the next however many games you end up playing, and that's all it's going to take. However, uh, look at this. Dominic who's actually going for Zergling speed. So I guess DRG is going to look to go for a second wave here with uh, Zergling speed. And I think what, his, what he's banking on is being able to deny the Protoss from getting that natural expansion down. And the beauty of this is he's building a hatchery at the natural, but I don't think this is a hatchery meant for an expand. This is just a hatchery meant to get more larva for Zerglings. It's a hatchery to make Zerglings. And that probe scout didn't get all the way into the main. It only saw the hatchery. And that might end up hurting Hero 
kill more than it helps. That's one of those rare times when scouting actually does more damage than it than it uh, than it should. Uh, it, it does damage, and it and, and it should never do damage. It should help the player. So now Hero, seeing the hatchery, says, "Well, I'm just gonna go get a nexus of my own, right?" Well, that's actually wrong here because. Darnway Gru is going Zergling speed, and there is going to be a second wave here of Speedling. Speed is about to kick in for the Zerglings on the map right now, in fact. And, uh, wow, this Nexus is going to be so hard for Hero to hold. I I actually don't know if he can hold it with the forces he has. He needs to get a cannon up right now, but or a wall, but it's going to be too late. The Zerglings are going to start to run inside, and nothing that Hero can really do about this. Speed has been revealed, and the Sentry is quickly trying to run away. But one Sentry has fallen, the other Sentry gets back home, and Force fields the opening, but the Stalker will fall. And now Dongrigu says, okay, well, you know what, I'll get the Stalker, and then I'll get your Nexus. And I think that's what he's going to do. Yeah, he's going to go for the Pylon first, I guess. And behind this, look at this, the Madman droning up. About nine or so drones right there on the tab. And... Dare I say, has Dongreku been able to even up in this game despite opening up with a build that was what that was countered by the Forge first? I think he has, man. He needs a little bit more drones, and he's going to be doing really good. But Hero is not out of it yet. In fact, Hero is going for a five gate, ladies and gentlemen, and I really like the decision from Hero. He's been on one base for quite some time now. Uh, he knows the Zerg grabbed that natural, and while it may have originally been for Zerglings, it's now going to be used for economy. Me. And I think what Hero's thinking here is, I'm just going to go for a 5 gate, and I'm going to attack you and kill you. <laughs> uh, he is getting a forge, though, which is interesting. I wonder if he's going to wait for plus one weapons? Uh, that's very intriguing to get the forge. That plus one will take some time to get out. But perhaps that's his strategy here. The Zerglings did see it, though. The Zerglings for, for Dong Rigu did run behind it and check the gateways, and he knows that there's a 5 gate up there. He needs to be careful here. He's going to get force field in. Oh! Cannot get out now, and uh, you know, no matter how long, how hard, or or long those Zerglings scream, they will not be able to get out. Not under the watchful gaze of Hero Sentries, man. That is going to be damn near impossible. And Hero right now just positioning himself to make sure those Zerglings do not get out. Dongrigu quickly throwing up crawlers because he knows there's a five gate in the back there, and the possibility of a Protoss attack that can end his life and end his tournament hopes and dreams is very real. Uh, he is going to try to run out though. Force fields come down and one circling makes its way outside. The lucky little guy. Oh man, he is, uh, he, I don't know man, his first name must be Luck. And uh, Luck the Zergling here will see a Nexus coming up. That is very interesting. So is Hero, I don't think he's trying to feign the expand because the gateways were revealed. More perhaps, he realizes his gateways were revealed and he's just going to expand because he's thinking here there's probably a bunch of crawlers and if he moves out he might, you know, do something that he regrets. Uh, putting himself out of position obviously would mean Zerglings could flood into his base as well. So uh, I think he's contoured his build a little bit here and decided to just stay at home on five gates. And yeah, there's just so many crawlers here. It'll be very hard to break through with his uh, with his units. And right now, Dongregu, you no, know, throwing down a spire upon seeing the Nexus coming up with that with Luck the Zergling. I don't know where Lucky went, but uh, <laughs> he is going for a spire right now. And he did do pretty well with Muta's last game on Cloud Kingdom. Maybe he's hoping here that Mutalis will be, once again, what will pave the path to victory. And he certainly needs some foundation laid down for that road because it is going to be a long one, guys. He needs to win not only this one, but the next two. He cannot afford to drop any games here for that $5,000 prize. And so eight Mutalisks now on the way. There is a Hallucinated Phoenix coming out, though, and I really like that from... Uh, from Hero, man. More Protoss need to use Hallucinations. It is such a cheap way to get an Observer out if you don't have Robotics Facility. You can actually skip Robo Bay if you're only getting it for the intention of getting an Observer, if you just get Hallucination. And uh, it's free. It's it, Well, it's not free, but it's pretty quick, pretty nice and dirty and easy. And there it is. It sees the uh, Spire coming up, or at least finished already. And now Mutalists are starting to come out on the field. That's actually... 
about 10 mutas, I'd say. But Hero is prepared, man. He saw it with his Phoenix. He's getting in position with his Stalkers. And, you know, that first wave, the, the most important wave for Mutalisks. Because the ambush, the element of surprise, is most on their side then. And it certainly looks like Hero here is going to be able to defend this really easily. Complete rejection of the mutas. And uh, he's now getting Blink as well. So I really think Hero is starting to recover at a very quick speed. Uh, in fact, he has probably started to pull ahead in this game as he's going to have Blink Stalkers out on the map. He's sending in a confirmed scout here, I guess, to make sure that the Zerg is still on Spire Tech, which he is. There's another hatchery coming up, though. And I certainly feel like Hero starting to pick up the pace here. In fact, the supply's now swinging in favor of the Protoss. 104, uh, for a second there, 104 over 100 or something like that. And uh, yeah, Hero just looking solid, solid, solid. And it's a two base to four base situation, but I really think if Hero wanted to, he could push out and easily grab a third. He could also push out with that army and crush these Mutas and Zerglings once Blink is finished. Remember guys, Mutas and Zerglings, not the most formidable force uh, in the late game, e even in the mid game. They're, they're good for backstabbing, they're good for harassing, but in a straight up fight, uh, it's it's not pretty, man. It's not pretty if you're Don Riku. <laughs> and he's going to go in here with the Mutas and try to do a little bit of damage against the Photon Cannons, but too many cannons there. Loses a Mutalisk, in fact, for the Photon Cannon, which is never a good trade. And uh, the next plus weapons is coming out for the Protoss player. And Don Riku really investing in these Mutas. He's even getting plus one weapons as well. Drone count not doing too bad for Don Riku. 85 over 56. So if he can get his fourth base saturated and prevent Hero from grabbing a third, then he will start to pull ahead in this game despite not really doing that much damage with the Mutas and Zerglings. And I think Hero realizing that needs to get a third. He needs to break down those rocks and go for the third Nexus or he risks falling behind in an eco war against Dong Rigu, which is not an interesting prospect for Protoss at all. And uh, Dong Rigu going in here with Mutas once again kills off the Photon Cannons. And, oh, gotta be careful, gonna fly into enemy airspace there, where there is plenty of anti-air waiting for him, and he's gonna tuck the Mutalisks away in the bottom left-hand corner. And, yeah, it does look like Hero is going for that third expand. So important right now, starting to work down the rocks with as much lasers and pew-pew as he could possibly muster. Uh, and he's also left enough Stalkers at home to keep the Mutalisks at bay, which is smart. Only 13 workers killed so far, so nothing too bad here for the Protoss player. But he does have to worry a bit, because Dong Regu has been on four bases for some time, and that means eight gas, and eight gas means a lot of Mutalisks. This Muta flock has grown to a really significant flock size. I mean, this must be what Mutalisks look like when they're migrating. Holy crap, that's a lot of Mutas, and Hero doesn't have a Templar Archives. He doesn't have Archons out yet. That's not good. Here comes that flock of Mutas, and they're going to take out the Nexus, and Hero did not get the cancel off. Oh, man, that was brutal. Hero getting his Nexus sniped at the third. This is like deja vu. The exact reason why Hero lost on Cloud Kingdom was he kept letting his Nexi get sniped, and now Hero might just be thinking, well... I might as well go for an attack. No, he's throwing up a Templar Archives, and it looks like he's gearing up to re-expand. I don't know about this, man. He, if he stays on this kind of, I need to expand and recover my bases route, this Muta flock is just going to eat him up alive, and now he's going to potentially lose another Nexus. The main Nexus is going down, and the Mutalists are going to squawk and flock away. Oh man, those Stalkers can take out as many as they like, but the Mutas have paid off for themselves in full, and then on top of that, some dividends for the investors. Uh, I don't know what Hero's gonna do now. He's only on one Nexus. He has one Nexus up right now, and uh, he is trying to build two Nexi to replace the two Fallen Ones. I mean, at this point, you just gotta go counterattack, but he doesn't have Archons on the field. He doesn't even, there he goes, first two Archons coming. Oh man, he is just going to get, he's just getting shredded right now by Dong Regu. And DRG is moments away, I think, ladies and gentlemen, from securing a victory in this game, which means he is halfway there to completing the comeback of the ages. Can Dong Regu do the unthinkable? Can he do the impossible? Or will he fall short here? Will Hero come up with some type of miraculous stand? I don't know, guys. He does have Archons on the field, and Archons just shut down Mutalink so hard. 
And if he can get some more Archons out, that might be his saving grace. He's actually got the third established now. Can't afford to lose it. Muta's going in after the sentries. Oh, the sentries going down. Deja vu, man, all over my body. Those, once those sentries go down, you know that Zerglings are going to have uh, an absolute fun day with the, with the Protoss army. And now there's even Infestors in the mix as well. And 70 Zerglings. Oh, man. 30 Banelings, too. The Zerg arsenal continues to grow. And, you know, one thing that Hero has done all right is he's kept his army alive. So I'm, I'm trying to look at the bright side here. I think Hero still has a sizable army. If he can micro really well, dodge the fungals, pick off the infestors before they can fungal would be great, and dodge these baneling shots off creep, you know, he might be able to, with his archons, I mean, I'm, I'm thinking, like, if the moon and the sun and all the planets were to, able to line up in orbit and all the earthquakes in the world and all the faults could trigger at the same time, I'm talking about some crazy 2012 stuff here. Uh, the Mayans were predicting. I don't know, guys. Maybe it's possible, but here we go. It, he's going to lose his Nexus for sure, I think, depending on if DRG wants to focus fire. Nice force fields, though. And yeah, the Nexus is going to fall. And now Hero's got to be, uh, he's got to go for a counterattack. There is no hope of transitioning from here. And he's starting to warp out some more sentries, some more zealots. And here we go. This is it. Protoss counter for the win. Archon leading the charge as Balin's going in and hitting mostly nothing. Very nice micro by Hero. And Hero's going to take out these infestors too, I think. Wow, very, very good job by Hero. Donragu now has to fall back and quickly re-macro an army. Not too sure why Hero's pulling back. Why are you pulling back, Hero? You need to go counterattack. That's that's your opening. But oh my god, that's a lot of banelings, so maybe not. That is so many banelings. Oh my god. That is that's th prepare yourselves, guys, for a green Christmas. And uh, Hero, I think for a second they're thinking, Alex, man, and then now thinking, no, I don't think it's a good idea. Changeling army leading the charge here. And here we go. The Banelings are rolling, rolling, rolling. And they stop. Rolling, 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 rolling. And it's over. That's going to be GG. Uh, yeah. Happy Merry Christmas, everybody. Courtesy of DRG. Three or four months in advance. But it's all good, man. We will see what happens in the next game of this set. I, My nerves, my like adrenaline is all tingling all over my body right now because I just cannot wait to see if DRG is going to do it or not. The guy is two games away from mounting one of the craziest comebacks in comeback history. And Hero is only one game away, man. He just needs to win one game. Find out if Hero or DRG is going to take that $5,000 prize in the next cast. And this is HD StarCraft signing out.